Welcome to the vlog. 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 Welcome to the fucking vlog, season two. Welcome to the vlog. I got right to editing, did some meetings, and uploaded the video. I had my morning meetings and I did a bit of work and now I go visit my grandparents. I have to do a bit of shopping for them. I'm excited to see them. Feeling honestly a little bit overwhelmed with coming home, but I set down a schedule for myself today, which is honestly gonna help. And I think it's just important for me to get as much as I can done today and be kind and understanding with myself that I did take a red eye flight today and I'm not running on a lot of rest or sleep. Realistically, the work I get done today will not be as good as the work I'm probably gonna get done tomorrow. Once I got out of the house, I was feeling a lot better. It was good to walk around and I visited my grandparents, got some work there and they fed me a beautiful lunch. And when I was leaving, I saw two cute cats. That was so lucky. This little guy let me pet him and he kind of just flopped over for me to spend some time with him. He was such a cutie. Hello, I'm home. I'm probably gonna do a bit more work before going on a ride with my dad because it's literally 16 degrees outside and sunny, which is not what any of the forecasts predicted. And that's exciting. I haven't been on a bike in a while. We're doing an easy ride. We're just going to Deep Cove, so it should be fun. I know I said it's an easy ride, but the first time back on a longer ride is always hard. I mean, once we hit the 50K mark, I was kind of like, how did I do 200 last summer? Like I'm kind of spent. Anyway, we had pizza, tasted super good, and I finally got to FaceTime with Molly. That was great to talk to her. Okay, two things. One, I'm so happy to be in my own bed right now. It's so good. I'm gonna have such good sleep, I'm so tired. Two, I got the job at BCH and it's a complicated feeling right now because one i don't know the compensation two like it, it just feels like i think i realized how burnt out i was until a bit before a little bit nervous now to start work and they basically want me to start as soon as possible and the old me would have accepted and started part-time along with working on capstone and like that is not what's gonna happen i don't want to do that if i want i just i don't know if i even should accept a job yet you know it's a complicated feeling i'm really happy i got it i think the part the most difficult part is that it's quite honestly in terms of like the actual job like exactly what i'm looking for nlp i like working within healthcare it's like a good way to get my foot in the door but i don't know part of me was hoping to move to toronto at some point it's, it's complicated i have to think on it i have to get details about compensation yeah yeah sorry if this is gross but i have an ulcer in my mouth and it's been bothering me all week it hurts so much and i went to the gym with george for the first time in a while that was great and then i did went home and did work about 120 and i'm thinking of starting to make my dinner i know it's like a lot in advance but i want to cook a doll. I need to just make sure the lentils are ready so that when I want to cook it I can just throw it in. Today I'm going to try using mung doll. My issue is that the last time I made doll I soaked the lentils beforehand but I haven't done that today. So I'm kind of hoping just putting it in a pressure cooker will be enough. I don't even know how much I want to make or how much I should make. I'm gonna do a cup. I literally have no clue if that's gonna be too little or too much. I'll just add double the amount of water. Turned the pressure cooker on and did some work for a couple hours before heading back and starting the doll. I toasted some spices and the star of this show was the black pepper and I tried smashing it up and then I had to put it to the motor and pestle and then I put it back in the pan. Then I finally added some oil and fried it and then add the onions and fried all that together. Added some ginger and garlic and just let that cook all together. Me adding turmeric. Yeah, I just wanted to get everything nice and soft and flavorful. Had a meeting and then the doll was looking pretty good so I added it all together. Together. It was kind of home safe from there. Just got to mix everything together and I also added some spinach and curry leaves water to soften it a bit. I think overall it turned out pretty well. This will hopefully last me for the week. I just had an hour long meeting with the prop that mentors us and we got a lot of valuable information and I finally finished cooking the doll I was making. This is the result. I tasted it. Tastes good. The thing that I'm disappointed is that it doesn't taste peppery. It has the heat of like black pepper but like, I'm missing like that fresh black pepper taste. Oh, idea. What if I just like ground a bunch of like freshly cracked 
black pepper onto it. Maybe that's an idea. I'm happy I tried it. I think the other doll I made a couple weeks ago before leaving for Hawaii for my grandparents and sister and mom, that one turned out really well. I think it turned out better because I added tomato. Now, in my opinion, it makes things taste better when you're doing like these types of dolls. My grandmother does it like so well. She can make like celery or cucumber doll with just like yellow mung doll and like onions and that particular vegetable and it tastes amazing. Um, I don't think I'm there yet. I'm not saying this tastes bad. This is delicious, but it's just like not my grandmother's cooking, which is like a high bar to meet to be honest. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep practicing, but I'm happy I made this dish. Okay, update, I added lemon to the doll. That's exactly what I needed. Tastes a million times better. I did a little bit of editing and then I walked to Scotiabank to meet up with Silk. We were watching Everything Everywhere all at once and I definitely recommend it. I'm not a huge sci-fi person, but this was definitely amazing. Afterwards, we went to Theory to have a little bit of coffee in a macahon and we, we saw a lot of mice there, which was really funny. Um, yeah, once day I woke up, did a bit of work at Starbucks, and then I just enjoyed the day. I had a meeting with my team. I just had a meeting, it was a bit over an hour. I usually don't like meetings that much anymore. It's just, it feels like kind of draining just to like be on a Zoom call, but I actually had a lot of fun in this one. We got to talk to the Mochiboy expert again, and it it's just really fun. Like it, I like linguistics and the stuff that I'm doing right now is very, very linguistic oriented versus like um, engineering. And although I like them both, I just like haven't been able to like work with a language like this in a really long time. So I'm having lots of fun. Me and my dad did some driving practice. We're getting close to the end test. And then once that was over, I did a little bit more work before going to my grandparents for dinner. I was really excited. It's my first dinner in like two weeks with them. So happy. We saw the cute cat again. Started Thursday by gymming with George and then coming home for a nice breakfast. Okay, I, I'm so excited. So if you remember from a couple weeks ago when I just started Capstone, we did a hackathon where we had to create a Wordle solver for both English and Gitsan. And it was against everyone else in our program. And the groups that got the highest score for English and Gitsan respectively won an extra bonus point in their um, final grade for Capstone. And my group won both of them. I actually can't believe it. Like, I'm so happy. <laughs> And it, it's it's really satisfying because like the solution that we ended up coming up with wasn't even like we didn't overcomplicate it by using like deep learning and any sort of like really complex model. We were just using like word like statistical word distribution and making sure that we really parse the Gitsan words properly. I mean like I felt confident about our answer, but I did not think we were gonna win. So that's great. I booked my grandparents booster shop for them so I got to go over there bring them some veggies and have lunch with them which was really nice and then I came home to have a meeting and do some work. I finished the AWS technical assessment and I think it went well overall. It gave me an hour and 45 minutes to do it and I finished it in just a little over an hour so I'm feeling good about it. I My legs are feeling a little bit stiff so I'm thinking of going for a walk just to like move my body a little bit and yeah, work has been good today. The walk I went on was really nice. It felt good to move my legs. Saw a raccoon, which was super cool. And I came back and then I met up with Victor, Rory, and Nicole at Craft Beer. And we just had a couple drinks. It was really fun to catch up. We're all celebrating Rory getting into law school. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> In Hawaii, the sun was setting at 7 p.m. every day, no matter what time of year. So it was cool to come back to Vancouver where the sun was setting at 9 o'clock. Like that, this was shot at like 9. It was so cool. I started Friday by going to the gym pretty early, had a shower, did a, a meeting for the VCH job offer. And then I met up for George for lunch. We went to Good Dogs. I came home, did a bit more work before finally leaving to meet up with Oksana. And we got ice cream together. We got rain or shine because the May seasonal flavors were pretty tasty. And then I went to Nathan's house and he was cooking us a really extravagant meal. And that was exciting. I got to watch him prep a little bit. We went to Kieran's warehouse where we had set up a little situation with Tay, Liam, Nathan, and obviously Kieran. It, it was really fun. And he brought his dad's McLaren, which we got to all sit in, which was really cool. I I'd never been in a car like that. I think we were all kind of starstruck by it. And he also had a really cool projector, which made a uh, room he had in there really nice. It is currently 5.15 a.m. Getting ready to go to the Sunshine Coast. Did I get home at 
12. Yes. Did I wake up at 4 40 a.m.? Also, yes. Yesterday was so fun. Like, we just had the best night, and Nathan cooked us the most delicious meal, and it was just super fun to be with everybody. And like that warehouse is just a really fun space to be in. I actually am so extra. We're going for like, what, two nights and I'm bringing like, I'm bringing everything. I know, I just, I think since I was away for so long before, I wanted to have my stuff near me. We were all kind of worried that we were gonna be waiting for the ferries for a long time since it was a May long weekend. Okay, maybe not all of us, but some of us were worried and we ended up getting the first ferry that we waited for. It was super nice. Zach got a bit of a sunburn from his day before, but we stopped at IGA on the way to get all of our groceries and the road to her cabin is a bit windy, <laughs> but it was still really so nice. Like seating here, which like I feel like we're gonna spend in like, the gorgeous. And like the sunset so is there. So like our golden hour is gonna be like... <laughs> We all got there and unloaded our groceries. It was a little bit hectic at first, but we were all pretty excited to start the day. They got right to drinking. We also saw a lot of deer on this trip. They're so cute. None with antlers though. Once we were all settled a little bit, we decided to go on a walk and Nicole showed us a, a little like path to a little pier. We all sat there for a while. It was so pretty and the sun was shining and it was super warm. We honestly spent most of the day just like lying in the sun and sun tanning because I needed to just soak up all of it. We walked on a bit of a hill to get to the road to the lake and that was super cool but the water was very very cold. I don't have a shot of it but I did go in and I got out immediately because I was going to die of hypothermia. Nicole actually stayed in there for a really long time, which is impressive. I definitely wouldn't have acclimated the way she did. There were just so many little fish in the pond and I don't know, we were just super happy. Zach and Turner played football with each other while the rest of us just enjoyed the view and soaked up more sun. And then it was time for dinner. I helped Turner make a pasta dish. This is about when we discovered that all of the guys had been burnt, especially Rory, his ears. The camera does not do it justice how red they were. We also got a cake for him because he got into law school. Happy birthday, dear Rory. Happy birthday to you. Cut! It's been a while. <laughs> Not someone like that one. I made myself veggies and tofu for dinner, and then we all just chilled together. I know I already said this before, but I was just so happy that the sun was setting so late. On Sunday, I woke up and I did a little bit of homework and editing, and then I watched two little baby deers just prance around near Nicole's cabin. Everyone actually woke up pretty early. We were expecting the guys to not wake up till like 1 p.m., so we took advantage and went on a hike together. We went to this really cool lookout point. It was just absolutely gorgeous, I'll tell you. And it wasn't too far away. I think it was only like two kilometers away. We did lose Rory briefly, but we found him and we went to a Mexican place for lunch. I got huevos rancheros. It was exactly what I needed. It's so filling and so good. I think all of our stomachs were literally bricks after this meal. And we got home and did some more tanning. Let's go, Miranda! <laughs> Miranda unfortunately kind of got maybe accidentally targeted in a drink game and she got a little bit 
tipsy, as you can see, but she was able to make a full comeback throughout the night. We played a couple games of Pongs, and I will admit that Rory and Nicole did very good, and they broke their partnership curse. They were able to win a couple games together. Then we all just chilled outside and saw some more deer. We ended the night by just sitting together and playing some games, talking to each other. It was really nice. It was so fun being out here in the Sunshine Coast. It was one of those cases where the trip actually left the group chat, so it was really fun, and we watched some TV. Almost midnight. I'm going to make it quick because I'm definitely tired. It's kind of crazy to think that last Monday I was coming back from Hawaii. Yeah, it feels like a long week, but in the best way. As far as like coming back from a vacation, this was like as good as it gets. And this weekend was really, really fun. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.